So there's this old saying, and it says, it's actually one of my favorites, joy cometh in the morning. And we are all always looking for more ways to embrace joy, especially during uncertain times. And joining us now live via Zoom to weigh in is Jess Wiener, host of the podcast, Dominant Stories. Jess, good morning to you. Always great to see you on a Monday morning. Good morning, Melvin. So my thing with joy is this, we got to choose it, right? We got to wake up oh, yeah. in the morning and really we have to choose to find it throughout the day, but it's hard to do sometimes, Jess. It, it is. I think also, Melvin, people think joy has to be this sort of big monumental uh, experience. And I want us to start to think about joy in these small incremental moments, right? Because right now we look out at the world, there's a lot going on and it can feel looking out that it's hard to find joy. But just like you said, that's when you have to look within and recognize those smaller moments of joy. And that's equally and most importantly as valid. Absolutely, because sometimes, to your point, and I agree with this too, we overcomplicate things and, and think, oh, it's got to be some grandiose thing. But look, sometimes if I'm having a bad day, real talk, I'll be in the grocery store and I'll see like, oh, they have a new blueberry juice that looks delicious. Thank you. I want to try this. I mean, like, it can truly be like as simple as somebody smiling at you or like the cool breeze as you walk outside to your car, right? It doesn't yeah. have to be so complicated. It could be incremental and simple. It can be. And the other thing that I think we fall into the trap of is this comparison of joy, right? Yes. And there's another thing, you know, comparison is the thief of joy. And there's a reason for that because we spend so much time comparing and despairing online. We know this. We're guilty of doom scrolling. I do it all the time. And mm -hmm. I have to train myself to pull back from those moments and to say my trauma, this is not the trauma Olympics. I don't have to compare to everybody else around me. I get to focus on running my own race, living my own life. And actually, this is a really important personal development tool, especially in uncertain times when you can train yourself and exercise this muscle of choosing joy, whether it's the blueberry juice in the grocery <laughs> store or just the look on your kid's face or the breeze, as you mentioned, or just the fact that you take stock of your body right now and what it can do for you and your mind. Those might sound simple, but that is the whole root of joy. It is in the simplicity of the lives that we're living right now. And it's so good for our mental health as well. And so good for our mental well-being to choose this joy. Well, and you can't give to your kids, your family, your partners, your, you know, your work environment if you're not filling yourself up first. And I think one of the things that gets complicated is we want to perform our joy, right? Mm -hmm. If we feel something, we're so trained to think we have to share it out with the world. But it's also okay to keep that joy to yourself. You know, right now there's a lot going on. So maybe you don't want to post every joyful moment online. Ask yourself, is that really what I need to do? Or can I feel this? savor this and is this moment for me and this is really important for self-care and survival right now absolutely and i think you know people think okay somebody out there watch, watching might be totally invested because we they love you we love you but they're like also maybe going like how do i do it like i need like a tip like so give us just a couple tips okay so here's the best thing ever you're just going to do like a simple audit of your life so whoever's listening right now wherever you are right now kitchen table wherever you are just take a moment and pick three things using your senses. So what do you see that might bring you joy? What do you smell that might bring you joy? What are you tasting that might bring you joy? What are you feeling that might bring you joy? I always bring it back to the body, Melvin, because mm -hmm. our minds can be a tricky place to live. At least mm -hmm. mine can be. So I, Me you know, too. go to your senses, look around, say, you know, I'm in my beautiful space, or I'm looking at my lovely partner or my cute animal, yeah. or, you know, I'm getting ready to, you know, get, eat this lovely meal I made. Like, find those moments it just can be about your senses to start and again like you said in the very beginning it's a choice and in this choosing you get to look within you don't always have to look without to find that joy absolutely be aware of it be aware of how you feel when you're in certain situations i mean i think it's also just paying attention to yourself on the inside and uh yes. just saying thank you even if you just wake up in the morning and you say thank you i do that I open my eyes i'm like thank you for waking me up powers of the universe yes. and thank you that i get to go to a job that i really love doing right i mean it it's simple yes. thank you that i took a shower and i had warm water i mean you know yes. like it can be that yes. simple yes yeah. every day above uh, every day above ground is a good day for me that's what i say to myself every day you know and i know it sounds like right now when there's so much going on we feel like can i do this do i have permission yeah. to do this i hope in this moment of conversation people listening know you do have permission not only do you yes. have permission we're inviting you to do it because it's necessary. We can't always live in the things we can't control, but one of the things we can control is our relationship to gratitude, and that's what you're talking about. And when you have more gratitude, they prove it does bring you more joy. Absolutely. Jess Weiner, we thank you so much. Always a pleasure to have you with us.
We uh, just you. value your wisdom so much. You can catch her Dominant Stories podcast right now.